sa ating edisyon ng video na to, ating babalikan ang NCAA Season 81 na kung saan nagarap sa Men's Basketball Tournament Finals ang PCU at ang Letran. Yes sir, ako nga pala si Kino at welcome sa ating channel From the Sideline. From the Sideline. Yes sir, sa laban na to, mapapanood natin yung batang-batang Jason Castro at yung wala pang makain na kanin na Bo Belga. Ito ang ikalawang sunod na pagpasok ng PCU sa finals matapos mapanalunan ang kampinato sa season 80. Pinapangunahan naman nila Boyet Bautista, John Paul Alcaraz, Ron J. Enrile, Mark Andaya at Aaron Aban. Sa limang star players na nabanggit ko na mula sa litran, Tanging ito lamang si Aaron Aban ang medyo kahit papano naging maganda naman ang kanyang karera sa PBA. Dito naman sa kuponan ng PCU bukod kay Castro at Belga, andyan din ang pangalan ni Gabby Spinas at Rob Sons. Pinangunahan ng future PBA superstar na si Jason Castro ang PCU para makuha ang Game 1. Pero nakuha naman ng Letran ang Game 2 at Game 3 para makuha ang kampiyonato. But anyway, narito po ang huling minuto ng fourth quarter sa laban ng Letran at PCU sa Game 1 ng NCAA Season 81 Finals. If this was, kung yung scoreboard natin, yung parang yung mga makalumang scoreboard, yung puro ilaw, parang Christmas tree na dapat yung side ng ano eh. Exactly. Yung side ng PCU. 4,000 Espinas, 4,000 Sands, 4,000 Belga. We're starting front line, all saddled with fouls. Well, Espinas could not complain about that foul there called on him. It was very clear. He reached in. Ball movement na naman ang pinapakita nito. Kupa na ng Letran. He's been attached to himself. Brings the ball down. Trying to take matters into his own hands. Sands, that will be short. And let's see what the foul trouble will result in sa aggressiveness ng PCU, especially sa defensa. Because right now, the way things stack, the Knights should just attack at every opportunity inside the paint. Daya from the corner. Right now, the dice is really loaded against PCU with the foul trouble of their big man. The lead is back up to seven. Castro turns the corner. And a foul will be called. He will head to the line for two free throws. Talk about taking it strong to the basket. And that will only be the first foul on Aaron Abbott. Watch his move. Andaya. What? Oh, yes. Great shooting touch. Once Andaya stretches out, his, stretches out his full frame at 6 feet 7, there's no blocking that shot. That's as good as a hook shot. Maybe even better. 7.42 remaining here in the fourth. Six point advantage enjoyed by Letran. It stays that way. Espinas gets yeah. away. With a push. Castro launches a three and hits. And once again, the one possession ball game, the Dolphins are just hanging around. We have a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. This is game number one for the championship. It's the Dolphins in the ninth, slugging it out. Bautista trying to answer back. Avan with a three. Line. And they call the foul on Andaya. That's going to be three on Mark Andaya. Medyo masyado nagigit si Andaya. Almost three minutes gone here in the fourth. Finally brought it past the timeline once again, just sneaking it through. Castro, hanging, missing. And Adavi says once is enough. Alcaraz has really been quiet in this ball game. Yes, he has. 
<laughs> Fishing expedition there. Hit them a huge fish. And I don't think even it should be the You know, Bitterano. Oh. Adalvi just bit. And he knew that the Spinach was coming. So he, he leaned in just a little bit, just enough to draw the contact, just enough to get Gabby and Spinus out of their hair. Still, it's just a three point ball game. And the Knights should remember last year. And then they should sit by the final four. Wala na sila Espinas, wala sila Castro fouled out. I think it was only Retaga among the regulars who was still there. Free throws. The first is a miss. Jason Castro. Eight out of twelve from the line. Make that nine out of thirteen. This is gonna go down the wire. Hold on to your seats. Bautista inside to Rodriguez. Aldave launches. That will hit the board. Session will go down to the Dolphins. I was actually trying to check the birthday of Jason Asher because I know he's still a teenager and yes, he is only 19 years old. Well, the future is bright for Jason Castro. And earlier, I remember you mentioned Bo Belga. He's also 19. I think they played for PCU as true freshmen two years ago. Nice pass up around the way inside. And the pass was made by Jason Castro. Well, the forgotten man in the rotation has been Juan Retaga, who has been nursing foul trouble all game long. Adabe, suddenly gun shy. Cecilia, almost.
this North possession. You know what? The Dolphins seem to be really at their most dangerous when they lose their main men. Parang ganun nga, Butch. And now they're just isolating Castro. Sands left open. Three on the way. And that just money in the bank. Big shot, Rob. Watch again. And timeout will be called by the Lebron Knights. They now find themselves down. Here come the Dolphins. Trying to extend their lead. Castro launches. Oh! And carries another three-pointer. Suddenly the Dolphins catch fire. That's when they lose Cavier's feet and they catch fire. 4.15 remaining. Oh, Castro reaching in. He's one of the few Dolphins shot by a four. Actually, foul. the fall, I think, was down there on Cecilia. Oh! And Cecilia fouls out. Look at the shot from Jason Castro. He has really come to play here in the fourth. You know what? Coming into the fourth quarter, the Dolphins have not hit a single three-point shot in the ball game. In fact, they've only taken two attempts. Then suddenly, in the fourth quarter, they go to the three-point shot. What a turn of events, and here comes Salantar. It's either that or go with a small lineup, small three-guard lineup using Red Aga, Castro, and Amparado, which they will be giving up too, too much. Well, at least Salansang is a huge body that can actually push his Big Mac out of his comfort zone. And he's got my both skills. Alcaraz in no man's land. And the ball slips off the fingertips of the night. Well, the night's now starting to unravel here, Butch. This is shades of last year. Here's Castro once again getting away, turning the corner. Belga trying to pretend he was going to whip a pass. That's going to be traveling. Kapuni <laughs> <laughs> really upset at these players. And San saying, look, make the extra pass. I was the guy supposed to get it. Under four minutes to play. Six point advantage enjoyed by the Dolphins. Alcaraz. Inside to the wrong man again. Alcaraz simply doesn't have, I don't know, you, you control the Boya Bautista has on his teammates. Here in the last four minutes, you want to have Boya Bautista. I mentioned it before this ball game. I felt he's the best point guard we got in the league right now. Avant. Inside, yes! And it's going to be down to four. It's still no sign of Boya Bautista. I think there was a time where the front, especially their big... Yes, that's true, Butch. Sands splitting his free throws. Extends the lead of the Dolphins. Five under three minutes to play. Big Mac wanting the pass. Doesn't get it. Aldave with the looper. In and out. Second opportunity. Finally drops the rail. Aldave just trying to... It matters in his own hand. Sands almost lost it. Sands launches. Short on that one. Maybe not the good shot to make. With two and a half minutes to go. Great shot for us. You just want to get getting good looks at the basket. How about thought about it? Shot clock is at 9. Aldav is at the corner. Here's Alcaraz. Pass it over to Aban. It's going to be a charge. That's actually a good call. Belko was really trying to draw the charge. And he paid for it dearly. The Dolphins want to talk things over. They have been rushing their possession. But they've been coming up with big plays, both on the offensive end and there you see on your screens, on the defensive front. They're up by three. Best play. And watch this move from Jason Castro.
Kai flying, getting the basket, drawing the contact, and he will complete that three-point play opportunity. This play brought to you by Cannon, delighting you always. No wonder Boya Bautista has been held out for the last few minutes. He's suffering by Louis Alas. No more choices here. You go with your best players in the final two minutes. 2.05 remaining here in game number one. It's the Dolphins and the Knights slugging it out. Sands almost got away. Early offense being tried by PCU there from the backcourt. Parang sila yung humahaba na lang. But then again, maybe that... They ask for isolation. Alcaraz still in the ballgame. Sands short on that one. A two-pointer will bring them to within one. Shot clock is at seven. And a foul will be called. It will be on Jason Castro. That's Castro's fourth. And there were only two seconds left on the clock for the crowd. No, they called him Amparado. Did you go go on Amparado? That's only going to be his. Oh, no, we were right. It is on Castro. That's going to be four on Castro. But for once, PC is not in the penalty early. That is their fourth, though. Both teams now in the penalty, Butch. It's going to be free throw shots from here on in for both teams. Being very patient are the Knights. Oh, good strike by Castro. It's going to be a jump ball situation. Who will the possession arrow show? It's the Dolphins with the possession. 107 remaining. Here at the Avenida Coliseum at 1.30, it's the San Bernard Red Cubs against the San Sebastian Staglitz. That's going to be game number two of their series. And of course, to be followed by, to be followed by the BC Dolphins and the Letran Knights. It's a traveling call here on Rob Sands. Under a minute to play and both teams coming up with error after error here, Butch. Looks like... Both teams are having the nerves getting the better of them. Who will prove steadier? Down the stretch. Bautista launches a three. He will miss Belga with the rebound. Belga just spinning Rodriguez, who had no choice there. No need to foul this year. Let's play good defense and the ball will go back to the trap. Sands finds the seam. Oh, this is. Salamsam with a big Diesel rebound. Big rebound by Salamsam there. Salamsam. He's feeling the ball there. And raising the sideline. But we know the ball is not over. They're not by a long shot. That's 27.2 seconds to go. But who was fouled? Did they foul Salamsam or was it already with Castro? I think it's already with Castro. So Castro will head to the line for two free throws. But Salamsam, you have to credit this big guy coming up in the right place at the right time that time and he did a smart thing he found Jason Castro and he got him the ball right away but Castro still has to make his free throws and something he's had trouble with in this ball game but here is crunch time put and Jason Castro has come up big not just in his free throws but in the fourth quarter Astra certainly mayhem on the sidelines for BCU. This is literally a come from behind victory. Castro makes both. It's a two possession ball game. Do the Knights go for the quick two or for the three? That's going to be a traveling. Oh, that could be killer. That just might be it. Castro jumping into the arms of Junel Bakuli. But remember, the championship is not won in game number one. There's still two more, at least one more game left. 
Bob Sands and Jason Castro who teamed up. And pa- like they told their teammates, see, kami bahala sa inyo. A foul will be called on Rodriguez here. He will foul out. Oh, and you know, Butch, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like the Dolphins drew inspiration from losing Gabby Espinas, and that's where they got the fire that they brought into the court. That's true. I'm dropping die will come in for Rodriguez. It's a concern here in game number one. I think Junel Bakuli just told them to defend the perimeter. They missed both free throws. Fourth shot. That's going to be short. Aldave launches again. That's good line. A little bit too strong. Aban will miss from point back range. And game number one is going to go to the PCU Dolphins. A come from behind victory.